Hello, hello, hello everyone. It seems like since the last time I covered a TikTok murder on this channel, more horrible things on TikTok have happened since then, which validates my, my reason for staying off that godforsaken app. For now, at least. Sometimes I'm tempted to get on it. Sometimes. And shout out to yet another wonderful member of our Discord server for suggesting today's case. If you want to join us for some fun Unsolved Network uh, holiday shenanigans, the link to the servers down below. Today, I continue our exploration into the question of whether or not the worst monsters are no longer hiding in the dark, but here in the light of the technology beaming right into our faces. Let's begin. Today, we are looking at the case of Claire Miller, a 14-year-old Pennsylvania freshman who gained 11,000 followers on her TikTok after stabbing her older sister to death and uploading spine-chilling videos on the platform immediately after the incident. This is the story of the Miller family and one February night that changed their lives forever. Mark and Marie Miller resided in Mannheim Township in Lancaster, Pennsylvania with their daughters, 14-year-old Claire and 19-year-old Helen. They lived comfortably in their 2,500 square foot home, and the Millers invested in raising their daughters with the best intentions, including sending Claire to Lancaster Country Day School, a costly Pennsylvania private school, and Helen receiving her education through the Mannheim Township School District. The sisters appeared to lead pleasant lives and have a healthy bond. While in middle school, Claire had played field hockey and was on the school activities committee and helped take care of her older sister Helen, who had cerebral palsy and relied on a wheelchair. Claire would accompany her sister to doctor's appointments and would reportedly stay alongside her through difficult times. The incident within the seemingly ordinary nuclear family left the community wondering what in the world led to such a dark turn of events. The night of February 21st, 2021 seemed like any other night. Helen went to bed as usual and their parents went to sleep. Claire, however, had different plans. Around 1 a.m., she grabbed a knife, entered her sister's room, and stabbed Helen multiple times. Claire then covered Helen's face with a pillow. After brutally attacking her sister, Claire called the police around 1.08 a.m. She was described as sounding hysterical, confessing that she had killed her sister. Claire then went outside into the snow to wait for the police and wipe off the blood. The police arrived five minutes later at 1.13 a.m., where they were greeted by the 14-year-old waving them over. Her hands, pants, and the surrounding snow were covered in blood. Claire directed the police to her sister's bedroom, telling them repeatedly, I stabbed my sister. The police found Helen lying on her back, her bed covered in blood, and a pillow covering her face. When the police removed the pillow, they found a large pool of blood on Helen's chest, her arms by her face, and as described in the affidavit, a large knife in Helen's neck just above her chest. Police Chief Tom Rudzinski is quoted saying, I don't know that I have ever been a part of something that is quite as sad as this. How could something so tragic have happened seemingly out of the blue? What were Claire's motives? At the time of the murder, Claire was the co-president of her ninth grade class and was active on TikTok under the username at Spirits and Such Consulting, which had amassed a following of about 21,000. She would post videos of anime and video games she enjoyed, which appeared to have sinister themes. According to the Daily Mail, Claire had posted a video containing screenshots from the Japanese video game Danganronpa, in which high school students are manipulated into murdering each other by a beast called Monokuma. Another video highlighted the Korean comic Killing Stalking, in which a mentally ill boy is abused and raped by his uncle. Claire also posted a video where she claims, still holding out for Mello, a character from the Japanese manga Death Note, a story of a high school student who discovers a supernatural notebook that gives him the power to kill anyone he wants. One of Claire's videos also briefly showed her father and Helen in the background. A selfie video posted before the incident consisted of Claire rolling her eyes and text above that said, My dad has to stop opening the conversation with, This is just like the gay bar in Japan. Though Claire seemed to have some dark interests, it never appeared to be more than teenage angst. But then, a video on Claire's TikTok highlighted a bloody glove in the snow and panned over to a bloody giraffe-stuffed animal. Mark and Marie woke when the police arrived at their home. Emergency services tried to revive Helen, but to no avail. At 4.13 a.m., she was pronounced dead. The coroner's report stated multiple stab wounds as Helen's cause of death. Police gathered DNA samples, a stuffed rabbit toy, nine knives, and a whiteboard listing Claire's chores, as well as the murder suspect's clothes. 
a t-shirt with a cat's face and checkered pajama pants. Following interrogation, Claire was arrested and charged with homicide on February 22nd, 2021. According to Pennsylvania law, anyone charged with homicide over the age of 10 is automatically treated as an adult. For this reason, Claire's name and mugshot, where she appears to have fresh scratches on her neck, were legally made public. She stayed in county prison without bail. After her arrest, Claire's TikTok account gained about 11,000 followers. Users reportedly found her account through the platform's For You page. How does this get surfaced on the For You page and the videos of me dancing? Do not. TikTok, get your shit together. I feel like I called out Instagram in a recent video. Now I'm calling out TikTok. I'm just coming for all you social platforms. Some users indulged in watching the assailant's posts leading up to the murder. Claire's last video had approximately 5 million views with comments discussing her crime. Eventually, TikTok administrators caught onto the virality of Claire Miller's videos, and though they didn't confirm that it belonged to the 14-year-old murderer, they shut down the account, citing that it had transgressed community guidelines by promoting or engaging in violence. You think? No further comments were made. Though Claire's personal account was shut down, a user made a separate account where Claire's videos were reposted. The account warns, this isn't the real page, just reposting. This account currently has approximately 16.5k followers and 93.9k likes. A witness had told the police shortly after their arrival and crime scene investigation that they had previously spoken with Claire over the phone and she had expressed suicidal and homicidal thoughts. This was the first time anyone had spoken about any warning signs regarding Claire. Parents of children who attended Claire's school, Lancaster Country Day School, said that she was a good student with a friendly personality and that they were shocked by the murder. According to a school spokeswoman, Claire was a strong student. Some theorized that Claire murdered her sister because she was jealous that Helen's disability meant that she got to enjoy a majority of her parents' attention. Another theory is that Claire got tired of having to help take care of her sister and possibly worried about her parents' finances in relation to taking care of Helen's disability, deciding to take action herself. A recent news article from May 2021 states that Claire has pleaded not guilty. Her defense attorney Robert Bayer has filed a notion of potential insanity or mental health defense and is attempting to move her prosecution to juvenile court so that her sentence would focus more on rehabilitation rather than punishment and she could be released from custody by the age of 21. Press coverage consistently states that no clear motive has been indicated, there are only theories, and Claire is still in the midst of her trial. It can only be presumed that their parents Mike and Marie Miller are astonished and disturbed oriented. As far as they were concerned, there had been no glaring premonition that their youngest daughter had been so mentally disturbed. Though Claire's TikTok indicated a fascination with death and other grim subject matters, her behavior as an involved freshman co-president appeared to counter concerns. The only concrete red flag seemed to be the phone call in which Claire had expressed suicidal and homicidal thoughts. Though most may be disturbed by the fact that Claire amassed followers and fans after the murder, our own fascination with the morose does not entirely diverge from fans of Claire Miller, because after all, he here we are, indulging in true crime. Well, considering the boom of TikTok over the past two years, it seems only apropos that we end our year of true crime coverage with a case involving that oh so favorite of apps. That said, I do want to say a very big and sincere thank you to all of you for not just being with me through this case today, but through all my cases. We've covered a lot of true crime cases together. We've had a lot of fun adventures. We've had a lot of, we've had some controversial ones about missing friends, which we won't really talk about. But going back to this though, we're very glad to have spent this time with you. And I look forward to the many exciting adventures I have planned for us uh, in 2022, including some very exciting adventures that will hopefully take me into the great beyond past this bedroom door that seems to keep me locked in here for these videos but regardless of whatever spooky and wild adventures i'll be having out there in the world with all of you i'll also be continuing to cover these cases on this channel so continue to send your cases to me shoot me a message because who knows next time i'm covering one of these cases it might just be one that you've sent in in the meantime thank you so much happy happy holidays happy early new year and as always stay safe online